at 530, Rhode Island State Representative Robert Craven wants older sexual criminals to be treated the same as current sex offenders. This all began when convicted child molester Richard Gardner moved to Cranston at the start of the month, but residents were not notified. His crime predates sex offender registry laws, so they didn't have to be notified. Representative Craven hopes to change that now. Momentum in the state house to see how far sex offender laws can go. It's about time that uh, the legislature stepped in and did everything it could do to maximize this, the protection of the public. Representative Robert Craven said when Eyewitness News reported police confirmed Richard Gardner moved to Cranston, no comment. he wanted to change the laws. Gardner was convicted in the 80s of sexually assaulting a Massachusetts boy and two others from Warwick, plus kidnapping another child in Providence. A man who says he's one of the victims spoke to us when Gardner was first released in 2016. It's ho absolutely horrifying. I can't even believe they, they let this man out on the street again. Last year, there were protests and vandalism when Gardner moved into the Washington Park area of Providence. But because his crimes predate Megan's law, which created the sex offender registry, the public isn't notified when he moves. I'm going to take it on. Craven wants to change that and expand Megan's law. We have to make certain that the law that the police are being required to enforce uh, is the maximum amount of protection that we can have without uh, going over the line and violating the individual's constitutional rights. He said he'll research to see how far he can take it to avoid any potential lawsuits. Craven said he'll introduce legislation next session. I reached out to the ACLU today who defend constitutional rights to see if they had any comment on expanding Megan's law, but I didn't hear back.